Hey guys, this is Ian Harden from Red Five Fitness. In a minute here, you're about to see some Turkish get-ups. First, we need to talk about why we use these. We use these to strengthen the rotator cuff, right? So there's really no other reason that you should be doing Turkish get-ups. You want to go as heavy as you possibly can with good technique, very important. We're going to go over that in a minute. Very slow and controlled, very technical movement. So first thing you want to do is roll this bar into you. With your arms will be about 90 degrees to your body. First arm bar up, now we're pressed both hands at the same time. Bring my left hand up about 45 degree angle from my body and I'm going to sit up. So I bring my same right leg to my butt. Now I come to my hand. I'm going to press through my right foot and come to a glute bridge. Slide that back knee through. Now from here I can control this all the way up. Abs tight the entire time. Your eyes should always be on your hand. Come back down, straight line from wrist, top wrist to bottom wrist. Again, we're just trying to support this weight the entire way. And then you just drop it. So this is our Turkish getup. Again, think of, think of your rotator cuff like a telephone pole and there's four people on either side of it that are just holding it up. If it's standing straight up and down, then you can just kind of put a hand on it and the telephone pole will stay put. As soon as that pole starts to lean in a bad direction, now one person has to really stress. And what you want to do is see straight line from wrist to shoulder. As you can see Morgan from Momo's Macros right here, wrist to shoulder, straight line the entire time. That wrist doesn't float. She just sweeps that back foot or that back knee back. You can do that as well. I like to come to the glute bridge. 